High Plains Technology says it's time for school. Well, it's Wednesday, and we've got Katie Shirley in here again with another great guest on a fantastic Wednesday. Thanks for coming. Good to see you again. Good morning, Brett. It's great to be here again, and I've got Jennifer Dew um, with me again, Jennifer Dew Cockerham, and she is our, tell us your title again. Director of Daytime Programs. Okay, and you are kind of acting as the principal. Yes. For a, that might click for some people <laughs> to recognize what your role is, and Correct. that's a newer role, so you've been it since July? Yes, Okay. July. So um, February is Career Tech Month, and so we are going to kind of talk about just career tech in general and some information about that, and then what all is going on um, at High Plains and with our students this month. So um, if you aren't aware of Career Techs, there are 29 different technology center centers all across Oklahoma, and Oklahoma is actually, I think we're in the top 10 in the whole United States um, career tech wise, like the number one of the top 10. I'm not sure what number. Um, Lieutenant Governor Matt Pinnell, he really shares that number a lot about how, how good Oklahoma's career techs are. So there's actually 59 different campuses throughout Oklahoma. So High Plains, we um, currently just have one campus, but other tech centers will um, as they grow, we'll usually have multiple campuses. Maybe one day we'll have another campus um, pop up. So career techs are um, uh, vocational training schools that um, high school students can attend. Um, if they're in our district, they can attend for free their um, junior and senior year. And then we have the Next Step Scholarship. So if someone um, didn't happen to come either one of their um, junior or senior years, they can come at, right after they graduate for two years tuition free. Or if they just came their sen senior year, they can come that next year for free. So that is a really good to know um, and save them a lot of money and not having to pay once they graduate if they missed out on coming. Um, so we also have our business and industry side and this is our um, area that helps increase, um, helps companies increase prof profitability with um, all sorts of trainings to help them. And we kind of help pipeline good um, employees to them. And customized, customized trainings is really big with um, Career Techs. We can kind of pivot to meet whatever training that um, business is needing. So if you listening um, have a need, to help train your employees. I think it's always great to reach out to um, High Plains and just see if we can help fill that um, gap. Do you have any other miscellaneous career tech facts you'd like to share? Not that I can think of. You hit on, you hit on most it. of them. And then we have the short term um, and evening programs. That kind of hits another segment of people that may not be, you know, our high school. We have our TAP program, which is, is only at High Plains in Woodward, actually, um, the one-of-a-kind program that sixth graders and seventh and eighth have, um, and we have freshmen, some freshmen. Mm -hmm. um, attend. And so that's another pipeline into our um, junior and senior year um, daytime programs. That way they kind of have a little more knowledge before they get up there. Um and so the short term hits kind of we have senior citizen classes, we have the evening weekends. So if you're working a full time job, um, that's a way we'll also have a lot of people out in the evenings taking classes. Um, if you'll follow us on social media, we'll be sharing um, just a lot of information about Career Tech um, Educational Month and probably be spotlighting some of our um, students that are in our CTSOs, which is our Career Tech student organizations. So the, our month um, at High Plains for CTSOs <laughs> is really, really busy. So Jennifer, let's kind of go over what all we have going on this month. Well, February 8th, uh, our welding class com is uh, competed in a fabrication contest at El Reno. Our automotive program competed in a automotive contest at El Reno on... Uh, welding took three t three students, um, three adult students as a team, three high school students as a team, and then automotive took three students to compete. February 9th, we hosted the construction um, carpentry contest at High Plains, and there were 16 competing in that, 16 different schools competing in that. On February 10th, we sent our service careers 
um, program to uh, Western Tech at Burns Flat, where they competed in contests from tool ID, small engine ID, um, hard surface maintenance, um, building and ground maintenance. Mm-hmm. And we usually host that one, don't we? It seems it, like it rotates it rotate? through. Okay. Um, I think we've hosted it maybe three times okay. since Mrs. Rogers has been there. Okay. Um, on February 16th through the 17th, we're sending our marketing um, program to compete in the DECA contest. On February 16th also, our construction will compete in cabinet making at Francis Tuttle. And he's taking four students to do that, two high school and two um, adults. And then on February 28th will be the CTSO State Officer Day at the Capitol, where we have three state officers currently at High Plains. And they've reached out and contacted our legislators and have made appointments to meet with them throughout that day. Okay, so that'll kind of wrap up the um, Career Tech Month at the Capitol. And so is that all different CTSOs that will be representing yes. up there? Yes, okay. we um, we have a DECA state officer, and she will be going, and then we have two SkillsUSA state officers. Awesome. So and attending. you said, um, was it Yasmin and Kellen? They mm-hmm. actually made calls to all of our area representatives. Mm-hmm. And um, and I know they um, Carl Newton, they're meeting with him, Casey Murdoch, and I think one other. Okay. That is a um, good experience for them to make those calls yeah. and make that start connecting with legislators and um, sh- sharing about career tech and just their personal experience. So that's always great. And so each one of these contests, um, I know in construction they have an in-house contest. So that's how it's determined who gets yes. to go. Do yes. you know how do the other programs like what is this testing about that everyone's doing? Does that um qualify you to get to some go? of the contests have a written portion okay so they're going ahead and doing that so right if now. if it were um say tool id there may be questions about identifying tools what the mm-hmm. tools are used for or if it's construction um questions pertaining to that okay and that score is incorporated into their overall score for there's a written score and then a skill score okay um, and then what about um, auto? You said there are three students going. Mm-hmm. Do you know how, like, um, in welding and auto, those students are ter- determined? I I think the, maybe their interest and the mm-hmm. instructor. and the instructors just kind of ask. Okay. And our our diesel program, they don't have a regional contest like these other ones do. They'll they'll just compete at state. Okay. And our multimedia program is the same way. Awesome. And so now after these are all their state. Contests. These are regional. Regional. So then, and we'll then have state they'll take and... the top three okay. from the region to state. Top okay. three or two, depending. And I know usually, I know for sure it's construction seems to always have mm-hmm. someone that goes on to nationals. And I think BAM usually always seems to have. And HOSA. And HOSA, health careers. Health right. careers. So when did you say their contest was? Theirs is in April. Okay. So they've got a little bit of time. All right. Well, um, anything else you want to share about contests coming up or um, at High Plains this month? Um, did you talk about eggs and issues? On f- no, we didn't talk about that. So yeah. that is February 11th, this Friday. We're going to yes. be hosting eggs and issues. And so if anyone wants to come, I believe it starts at 7 a.m. Yes. And then Yasmin and Kellen and probably Kirsten Cook mm-hmm. will be, They'll be also there. there in their uniforms <laughs> and another opportunity for them to reach visit. out. Yeah, that's great. So uh, one more little fact about Career Techs. Um, each Career Tech has um, different programs that they offer. And so each um, Career Tech, they, what they offer goes by the need in their area. So at High Plains, we currently have 12 programs, and that is a practical nursing. We have our wind technician program, service careers, welding technology, multimedia, uh, medium heavy-duty truck technology, health careers, marketing management, graphic design, construction, business administration management, and automotive. So those are our current 12 programs. And I know every now and then I'll see people ask more about what about electrician? What about heat and air? Well, so that we have to have a need to be able to um, we want to meet the amount of students we have to go into the workforce. So 
there's really, you know, we we'll, might have a need, but usually it's only a handful that they need. So we don't need to have a class of, you know, 30, 40 students if the need is only going to be for those getting hired a handful. So, but I would say always reach out and visit with um, maybe Amber Riley, our counselor, or even um, Barkley Holt, our superintendent, if you have um, an interest in a program you think that would be great for us. Or and, short term. Or a short term class, Kellen. always looking for that, um, Tammy Kellen. So um, anyway, we always love to hear your feedback. And I thank you, Jennifer, for coming. And thank you for listening. We'll be back here next week on 100.1.